Well, welcome. Welcome those of you that are already online. Good to see you here. Let's see uh, Bron and Jill, good friends from Tasmania. Welcome. And uh, who else have we got? Um, I don't know your name, but there's a few others uh, online. So nice to have you here this morning. We are going to be doing some fun painting. We're actually going to be painting today. So I hope you've got your paints ready, which would be very cool. Um, right, well, uh, some of you yesterday, I showed you this lovely image here. This is, this is the feel we want today. A bit of calm, a bit of relax. So that's where we're heading. So those of you that are watching this for the first time, I'm Heather Bradbury. I'm a photorealistic artist and I love painting, as you can see here, things that look fairly much like a photo. I love teaching <clears throat> and it's why I'm here. It's why I'm doing these courses and um, free stuff for you. And I'll be talking more about a program that I'll be running um, before too long that you can be involved in if you like. Um, but I'm really passionate about people finding their voice through creativity, um, whatever that is, but especially through painting. And this process of painting photo realistically, oh, it is such a beautiful journey. So you're in a great space and I'm glad you're here today. So I would love to hear from you where you are from. So if you can put in the comments where you're from, if you're watching uh, here. Um, yesterday I had some fantastic, lovely... <laughs> fantastic and lovely comments about my accent so if you are from not from Australia thank you for that of course I have no idea we never we don't know we have our accent but we do of course we do so it's nice to have you here it's really really cool um, so yeah today what I'll be doing is uh, I'll talk a little bit uh, first of all about um, just a recap on what we've done and who I am uh, and then we're going to be doing this we're going to be doing the background color here and we're going to be painting the green. We're not going to be doing the water drops. That's tomorrow's job, the last day, which is going to be so much fun because you can see like those gorgeous sort of highlights on there and you will need a very small brush. Where is my small brush? Here it is. You will need a very, very, where is my camera? Very small brush uh, for, for that. So that's that um, triple zero. So we'll look at the resources in a minute because I know some of you are here for the first time today. Um, and look, and look, I've, oh, I've had a lot, I'm just looking at some more questions. I've had a lot of people asking, can I use uh, acrylics? Can I use watercolors? You know, of course you can use different paints. That's fine. I will be talking about the oils and I am very passionate about oils because they're easy to teach, but they're easy to use. That's why I teach them. They're easy to teach because they're easy to use. Um, and if you are fearful about oils, I was at 1.2. Uh, I was doing, using acrylics for quite some time and then I just went, no, um, well, actually a friend of mine said, try them. And I'm like, that was easy. It was a lot easier than I thought. I always remember them as being really stinky and horrible and when I used to watch my auntie paint. Um, but now, hmm, no, it's actually not that hard. And, you know, you can buy some cheap oil paints. You don't have to go out and buy, you know, you know crazy amounts. Uh, at all now some of you might be here for the first time hold on I'm just going to see where you're from uh, Sydney hi there from Sydney and from Tasmania and golly gosh um, <laughs> we've had some pretty bad floods here in Melbourne and you know those of you that are watching later live this was in where are we October 2022 um, yeah some pretty bad floods across Victoria in Australia and um some of you might have watched a video yesterday of at the end of, you can go back and have a look at it, those that haven't seen it, um, my beautiful time in Tassie and also, you know, the, the actual um, place where, let's have a look here, this video, you know, and so this is actually, ooh, um, this is actually um, some pictures of that, that place right now. I, I just, uh, someone just showed me some of those pictures um you know there's been a lot whoop, wrong slide there's there's a lot of um yeah floods just came through and i'm really sad because that place is where I, I painted a lot of pictures and um yeah, anyway uh, a lot of my journey began in that space it'll grow again but that was a big river that came through they had a huge amount of, of rain that's in tasmania so anyway thank you from where you're from so um how long is your drying time with the oil and the alcohol bottle you use? Hence why I stay away from oils and stick to acrylics. How long? Yeah, look, oil, um, oils take about four days to dry. You can get additives to, you know, the medium to make it um, dry quicker. 
but um, I don't do that. It, it takes about four days, but um, that's why I love the oils because they stay wet long and you can move them around. Acrylics, they're dried like really quickly. Um, again, you can add additives to acrylic to make them dry a little bit more like that. So, I mean, a little bit more like um, oils. So yeah, look, just use what you, you want to use, but don't be afraid of using your oils. I want you to have a go. I really want you to have a go. And I hope you've really enjoyed, um, you know, starting this workshop and continuing on to do it, which would be really good. So um, you do not need to have painted or drawn or used paints at all before. Uh, I'm just going to try and find this photo that I've got here. Um, well, here's a whole, it's a little bit um, dark because I've taken it straight from my um, website, but there's a whole heap of photos of my students there. But um, I was going to try and find you uh, a picture on here. If you can see right to the right, um, about third uh, down, there's a lady that's got an orange jumper on and she's holding a piece, holding um, a, an image. She is 96, never painted before, um, and... Uh, I'm just uh, astounded. Like she came into class, she said, I've never painted before. And she's been doing these amazing images. I'll show you some tomorrow because I haven't got the picture available right now. But, um, you know, yeah, 96, that was incredible. And she, she was great and she did some amazing work. So I'm very, very impressed with her. So you'll see a lot more tomorrow. I'm going to show you some pictures of uh, some of my students and also... Um, yeah, some some interviews and some, uh, what do you call them, testimonies. I'm trying to find the right word. Yeah, so that's a bit of fun. So yesterday we we did a bit of, you know, <clears throat> relaxing before we began. Let's do it again. Feel your shoulders. Are they any better than yesterday? <laughs> Give them a wriggle. Woo. Okay. Yep. Give them this. Go forward and then backwards. Nice, nice, nice. Let's grab some water. Mine's half full. Glass is half full, everyone, not half empty. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. two breaths and breathe in through your nose out through your mouth just really nice and slow this is not a rush thing We're gonna... <clears throat> before we do you've probably seen in a lot of my promotions and a lot of my emails that I talk about you know painting and the calm way that it can help your life and that's why I'm here like that's why I went to that beautiful place in Tasmania um to 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 find images to then go and paint them to find a place that is calming and you know these pictures here that you see behind me are um, part of my visual journal it's the way that I process and it's the way now that I teach my students to process life um, you know this one's whoop, this one's called immerse and it's about immersing myself in the good things in life and the right things in life and, and getting my mind in the right place. And for me, my spiritual journey is really important. So getting my mind around a creator, around something that is much bigger than me um, so that I, I don't feel overwhelmed. So, you know, this is why I try and slow myself down and really appreciate the moment, which is what we're going to do now. So just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you think of the things of the day that you're about to do or the things that you have done in this day, just let them go. All right, let's breathe in through our nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Hopefully that's created a bit of calm to your world right now. So, um, Talking about the calm, I really want to share with you a bit of a story. Um, start of COVID. Oh, how does that make you feel? Sorry, you've got calm and now you're feeling tension again. Um, I've uh, got memories of the start of, of COVID and I'm, I bet you too, too. Uh, and I had a painting that I was painting at the start of COVID. And it was, um, it was a, a painting of this koala and it was about... Um, me hanging on to a mama so um and a lot of detail in this so i was feeling i, I know i'm not alone <laughs> uh feeling pretty no just like oh i don't know how i'm going to get through this what does this mean i've got no idea what's going on so i was painting an image um of a mama and the baby sort of hanging on let's see if i can find the photo for you there we go 
Uh, and I was just like, oh gosh, how do I get through? I don't understand what's going on. So it, this, this painting actually really got me through COVID. It just helped me um, find some peace uh, and really relax into it. And, and doing the detail, you know, as um, it, there, it was just so therapeutic, you know, and that's, that's sort of what I'm going on about <laughs> with all that I'm talking about. Uh, and I was going to share with you too the, the picture that I'm actually working on at the moment. Um, and this this is actually a, a, a photo, uh, this one here. And then if we go here, so I can find the video and play it for you. I'll just turn that sound down. Um, yeah, so this is a video really about um, me just going, bring on the good things. <laughs> You know, and uh, I'm still working out, I haven't finished it, I'm still working out the actual um, name of this piece, but it's, um, let's see if I can find the actual photo for you. Uh, um, yeah, it's it's really, you know, through the crash and through everything that's happened, um, you know, in the last year or so, <laughs> uh, you know, I was just like, I want to be ready for whatever's coming at me, yes. And so, you know, some things will, will fly off and, and you know, I can let go of them, other things I'll catch. Um, so this is very much about um, the present moment, really, here and now. Um, you know, so just showing you a bit of, of, of how I use my painting to help me in the everyday. And you know, the, the detail in that is quite, um, yeah, detailed, put it that way. Uh, you know, I, well, I'm just trying to find this. So uh, let's see if we can find this again for you, this detail down here. Um, it's, let's see if we can find it for you. Can't find it quick enough, can I? Let's see if we can find it. This one. No, can't find it quick enough for you. Uh, not, not quick on the, the mouse today. <laughs> but yeah, such a detailed um, picture that it just really helps me just slow down and helps me just meditate. And look, I completely forget about what's going on and it's really helped me through um, the last little while with, you know, as I said, the crash that we've had into my beautiful gallery. Those of you that are new today, um, I have a beautiful gallery and um, uh, yeah, a car crashed, <laughs> crashed into it. So that has really helped me I come home and, and do work on that, that hands piece. And it's just been a really beautiful meditative way to relax. But I'll tell you more about other people's stories tomorrow. So you've heard a, bit, a fair bit about my stories and how it's helped me. But tomorrow I'm going to share with you some stories um, from people that have run, come through some of my programs and um, fully changed their life and their focus and, and helped them through. So I'm excited about that. Just have a little look of uh, other people. So someone from Melbourne. Yay. Good to see you from Brisbane. Hi, Kerry. And hi, Helen. Nice to see you here. Welcome. Good to, good to have you all here today. I hope you enjoy it. I know you want to get onto painting. Um, we're getting, getting onto this super, super soon. Um, we're going to look at some of the other resources now, just so that you uh, can get organized. So down below, if you are first here, oh, this is the first time you're here, uh, there's a link for this document and you can actually go and download that and find all the resources that we need. And also um, you'll be able to uh, let's move that up so you can see it. Um, cut this piece out, cut, cut this image out, print it and cut it out so that you have it ready. So hopefully you've got that ready for today. Um, so all ready. All right, I'm going to go through all the things that you need. I'm going to change to at my um, desk cam. And we're going to have a look at what we're going to do today. So we have our resource sheet here. So um, hopefully you've got that all organized. And hopefully you've got also today some soap ready because I'm going to show you at the end how to wash your brushes because I think a lot of people are like, uh, including me, like, you know, I want to, I don't want to use oils because they're hard to clean, you know, and yep, they are. I have a few, you know, tips on how to fix that. This is my lifesaver, incredible brush cleaner, and it is incredible. <laughs> um, I just I just soak it, my brushes in it overnight and they're fantastic the next morning. That's my little lifesaver. But I'll show you at the end a bit about how to wash your brushes in soap. Okay, so I hope you've got all this resource. I'll run through it really quickly because some of you are all ready and raring to go, I can bet. Um, but let's have a little look. 
whoops, at what we've got here. So you have your already drawn up image. And if you haven't, go back to the previous video. Um, you can show, I can, um, you'll be able to see what I've done there. You have your cutout. You have your five brushes. Uh, you have some medium in a little container or a little dish. You don't need a lot of medium. See, there's not much in there. Um, what else do we need today? We need paints. Huh? And we need um, something to put your paints in. Uh, you can use... Whoops. You can use... Sorry. You can use a meat tray or, or a piece of glass. You need something that is going to be able to withhold um, oil. So not, you don't want to use cardboard. That's not a good thing. All right, so these are the paints we want. We want a black and a white. So you've got a black and white. We want a brown. Um, we want a yellow, a deep yellow, not a really, really bright yellow. Um, we want a sap green, which is sort of like a grassy green. And magenta and turquoise. These are actually my, two of my favorite colors. They, they just make things beautiful. All right, so let's get on and start painting, hey? You are all ready. So um, I'm just going to put a little bit of paint out. So when you put the paints out, you really don't need a lot. And you can always come back um, and, you know, get more. That's fine. Oh, the other thing you need is paper towel. Yes, make sure you've got some of that ready and handy. All right, so we have some... Uh, thank you. Hi from some Auburns. Uh, Sharon, nice to see you here. All right, so we've got some white and some blacks. So we're just going to put all the colours out. Uh, I have no idea how much quantity I need at the moment. And some people like to be really ordered in the way that they put their paints out. I am not at all ordered. Uh, so, you know, and you'll see today, look, I've only ever painted this once, this image, which is here, and it was quite a few weeks ago. So, you know, I... I'll, I'll we'll see how we go I'm sort of you know I feel like I'm almost new to it like you guys um not quite but yeah all right and then here's some whoop yellow some paints have a little bit more sort of oil in them so that one did different brands uh and then a bit of turquoise which is in a bit of an old tube there get that out all right there's all our paints out right so we are going to start yay we're going to start with the background always starting with the background because um then when you come over you can actually you know do a nice edge over top of the background we're not going to come far into that image there but it's always easier so make sure that you've you've rubbed out um, your background enough that you can almost not see your grid anymore all right where's our medium great Awesome, here we are, ready to go. So for the background, um, the color of this is really, so it's got a tiny little hint of blue in it. That's why I've put this turquoise color here. Well, we're gonna use that in, in this as well. So we're gonna grab, so it's primarily white. So I'll grab, let's see, sort of grab a little bit of medium and a little bit of white. Just gonna bring that out into here. I'm gonna grab a tiny little bit of turquoise. And a little bit of black because it is a little bit gray that background yeah it's got a tiny bit of um, color to it but not a lot all right now this is the challenge and probably the only thing that I find really hard to teach online is how much medium so you know it's it's how what's the consistency it's right it's it's uh, cream very runny cream, maybe? I don't know, it's very hard to tell. But anyway, just keep an eye out and watch closely. So as I'm you know, dipping the, the brush in the oil, you see how much I use. Um, basically, there is no really, you know, there's no real rule like that you have to do it a certain way. Um, if you start seeing those lines underneath, which I can still see, so it means I've got a bit too much medium. Um, just add a little bit more quantity of paint to that pile there, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to grab a bit more of those colours, and I'm getting a bit too intense now. Grab some more white. All right, so I'm going to go over, make it a little bit thicker. So if you feel like you can still see, um, you know, any of your pencil lines, um, then go back, you know, just make it a little bit thicker than what you've done. All right, so we're going to start up there and now we're going to come through and do these areas. So I'm using the biggest brush, which is, sorry, I should have told you that, size eight, size eight filbert. And um, the filberts are the ones that have a round edge on it. 
not a square edge like hmm, I can't find one because I don't use many of them here we go here's one um, so that's more of a square one I don't use many square ones uh, and the reason is because that point there is the only point that's actually going to come in close to where that line is so you're much less likely to make mistakes and it's much easier see how I can just sort of get in there and um, make that line really smooth all right, it'll be really hard probably to, for you to see the paint on here because it's quite a light um, colour. Um, but never fear, once we get some darker colours in, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I don't think I've mixed up enough paint. I don't know about you, but um, I might have to mix that colour again. All right, now at this point, you're probably worried, you know, like going, oh, have I got enough medium? Have I got enough paint? Don't stress. Remember that this is, we're just doing it on a little canvas pad. We're just having fun with this. You're not about to put this in an exhibition and someone's going to come in and critique it. <laughs> um, this is, you know, this is all the fun part of it. It's like just learning. Yeah. So, um, and whenever I teach in class, and you might have seen a video yesterday of a class that I run, I let people sort of go on their own for a good 10 minutes or so before I actually come and I just let them explore and just go, okay, how's this work? How does this medium work? So just play around with it. It's, you know, it's about having fun and playing. Um, so just uh, just enjoy the, the feeling of the smoothness of how this sort of goes on. Fantastic. All right. Oh, hi, Sharon from England. Good to see you here. Lovely, lovely. Got a friend who comes from England. Beautiful. All right. So, how are you going there? Hopefully, hopefully you're going all right. Love to hear any comments. If you've got any questions so far, just put them in the comments because I can uh, have a look at that um, and hopefully answer any of your questions. All right. Have I covered everything? Let's just look at our picture. We always got to go back to our picture. Yes, I've got that area, that area, and that area. I'm not getting too fussy. I'm not going to go over and over and over it at this moment, mostly because I want to move forward and teach you and get this going but you know you you don't have to be too fussy with that um, some people ask me do I have to fill all the little bits so I can't see the canvas that's totally up to you really um, it, I mean when you're using a light color you can't see the canvas come through um, but uh, it's up to you there's no right or wrong about that now we've got this color this here we're going to wipe it with the paper towel so just wipe that off as much as you can do it so you some people sort of come along and they just go little, like a little tiny little do, do, do. No, no, no. You need to come in and really like do a really hard clean it off. All right. We'll leave that over there for now because we're going to grab probably a smaller brush to do the rest. Maybe let's have a little look here. What have we got? Actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with this larger one for the moment. All right. So now, now we're going to do the, uh, the green in the background, the background. I don't know why I said background, because that's the background. We're going to do the green leaf. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I've got dust on there. All right, so um, using the same brush, you've just washed it. You've just, sorry, you've just wiped it with the paper towel. You're just going to dip it in um, the medium, and you're going to grab some green. And I might move this a little bit so we can put the green. I'm just going to put some green over here and scoop it up and put it over there. I'm going to grab so some different colors. We're going to mix a different green because that's not the green we want. Um, so we're always, you know, conscious of looking at this image here and and looking at the colors. All right. So I want to add to that a bit of the turquoise. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit of black. I know that sounds funny, but I want to sort of dull the color a little bit. So a bit more turquoise. Now at the moment it's looking very bright still. Now, oh, I need more white. I'm going to add some white as well. All right, here we go. Grab some white to that. Now, this is very much a, like a um, a playtime, really, for me. It's like, okay, have I got the right colour? And as you're looking at it, I want you to look at your piece and go, is it the same? Hmm, if it's not, you think to yourself, okay, mine looks brighter and greener, so that means you need to dull it a little bit. So... Um, I'm going to add a little bit of black to dull it down. So if it looks a bit too bright, add a colour, well, in this case black, to darken it down. Now, I still feel like I want to get some of the, the bluey colour of the, um, the beautiful gum leaves here. So I'm going to grab some more turquoise and add that in. All right. 
And I feel like that's getting more, more closer to what I want. What I'm looking at is the darker areas, some of these really sort of dark areas to start with, and we will add more white and more other colors. So we're looking at these dark areas. We're mixing the darker areas first. I love to start, um, it, it's the opposite to some other ways of painting, like a watercolor, where you um, often start, I'll get all that paint off the brush um, in a different way. All right, so once you're happy with your color, and this is quite a different, let me look at this, it's actually a bit, bit of a different color. I think I had um, a different printout for this one, so I actually want to make it a little bit bluer than what I did originally. All right, I'm going to grab a bit more turquoise. So how, are you, how are you going? You having fun with your mixing of colors? This is the fun part. Well, it's all fun, but this is quite fun. I'm grabbing a little bit more of that turquoise just to get that a little bit more bluer, but not too much. All right. Now this is where we want to just get enough. <laughs> this is the challenge is mixing enough. You're like, oh no, I have to remix it again. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit more medium just to get it a little bit more sort of fluid. All right. Um, now I'm actually not going to use this brush for much longer because um, we want to do some more sort of detail stuff. I'm just going to use this brush for this, this leaf up here. All right. So we're going to come in. And now this is a point where I go, you know, this is why I'm, you know, I haven't practiced and practiced this because I want you to show, I want to show you my process and, and help you with your process. As I'm putting this on, I'm like going, do I like that color? Is it the same? And I'm not sure I'd really, really like the color as much as I thought. Um, oh, well, often I'm, I don't get too fussy. I'm like, oh, I've got to get it all right on the palette. It's really good to get it on the canvas and have a little play and go, do I like that color or do I not? Um, so this brush is almost too big for this area. So it's really is probably just for the background. All right, because it's hard to come in. So I'm going to change now. I'm going to wipe this brush so I will like myself later on. <laughs> I'm going to just wipe all that off. And I'm going to change to the size 6, which is going to be so much more manageable. That's much better. Size 6 filbert, so that round edge. You can see that round, round edge. Some, some filberts are a bit shorter than this. Um, this one's a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. It'll still work fine. That's better, much better. If you find that it's dragging, you just need a bit more medium on your brush, okay? Um, don't be afraid of, of, of getting in and using some of that medium. All right, so are we happy with our color? Now, if the interesting thing is um, the color that I can see here and the color I can see on the monitor that you are looking at, it's very different. It looks really dark on the monitor, um, but uh, I'm actually feeling like I want to change that color a little bit more darker. <laughs> Gosh, it looks dark on the monitor. It's more of sort of a, a bright, brighter green here, but anyway, I'll leave it as it is. Uh, cool. So that is a fairly dark, these two are fairly dark in this front area um, because the light seems to be coming underneath um, here. So I'm going to do this other leaf as well now, so the one on top. And I've nearly run out of colour, but I think I might be able to get, get around it. So I'm going to come in here and paint these ones. And what's great is we've got that um, masking tape there, so we don't have to worry too much about being fussy around that edge. We can just go straight, paint straight onto um, the masking tape. How are you all going? You're too busy to write anything, aren't you, at the moment? So I hope you're going okay. Um, just, you know, if you can, just, just a quick little, yep, we're doing it, we're okay, we're getting there. So I know you're actually, you know, those of you that are doing it, who, who is doing it? Put a little, um, maybe just a little thumbs up or something and just to say, yes, I am doing it along with you at the same time. That would be really interesting to to see and know there's about 20 of you are here on live and I know a lot more of you will be coming later on to watch this later a lot of people message me to say that yeah I can't make it today but I will watch the replay so, and you know that you can watch this replay later all right because you know these days we sort of tend to um multitask so you know you might be uh, coming and going from this video and that's okay but as long as you get it oh I added too much black there um, 
and that's fine all good all right so I'm just noticing I need to put a bit more medium with my paint so that it's a bit more so it goes on a lot smoother there we go that's better it was dragging a bit before so excellent I think the um, the color on my webcam is a bit uh, contrasted today so you can't actually see much green color in my my image but it is definitely green and I'll try and change that for tomorrow um, yeah so we're going to leave so I'm obviously I haven't said it but we're leaving the vein um, and we'll bring that in a bit later so those two are really much fairly plain and fairly like um, there's not really much change in any of the color in that fairly flat uh, this one might have a little bit more dark at the bottom here so I'm just going to just grab that so I grabbed a little bit of black just because it's still wet come in over top there we go I just sort of made that that edge a little bit darker but you probably can't tell at all on there I might try and make it really dark so you can actually see the difference on um, the video all right just made that a little bit darker there. How are you going? Yes, uh, watching now and acting later is fine, fine, fine. And uh, you know that you'll this is this video will be available for you. So all good. All right, cool. We've done that. You've done the first part. Well done. That's two thumbs up there. Great. Cool. Now we're going to do um, this area here, and we'll finish. We'll do the veins last today. All right, so we're going to look at the darker areas that are on the actual leaf now. So grabbing the same color that we've been using and we're looking at the darker areas. Uh, so there's a darker area here. This is where we start looking in a bit more detail. Darker area here. Um, when you squint your eyes, you can see some of the other dark areas on that edge there. So let's put a little bit of that dark. Oh, let's go a bit darker than that. On that edge there. All right, um, I need to mix up a bit more paint. There we go. All right, and down in here, I think I'm gonna start going to a smaller brush because we're doing a smaller area. So that goes there. And a little bit of dark in there, a little bit of dark over here. Just sort of pushing it into the canvas I'm just sort of getting rid of all the paint that's on my and there's quite a bit of darker over here isn't there it's a fairly similar color to um, what is in in these front two leaves you can tell I'm like trying to concentrate and talk at the same time is challenging <laughs> concentrate sorry that's the same thing see what I mean Con uh, try again um, you can tell that I'm uh, finding it hard to paint and talk at the same time but I'm um, doing it we're doing it not the hardest thing I've done in life oh my goodness um, cool let's keep getting some more of that paint there just come over here I'm just leaving a really really fine line there in between the back that back leaf and the front leaf just a tiny bit of letting some of that canvas show through um, just so I can see the difference between where they are all right, a little bit more medium just so it flows right through to there. I've just made that a little bit lighter um, at this point here. Again, I think it's a little bit hard to see on the video, but I have. <clears throat> All right, so if you want to get those nice smooth lines, remember to use a fair bit of medium to just make that. Not too much that it's like watercolour and sort of flowing right through. Now, do you see there I just sort of did a little whoopsie? So what I'm going to do is just wipe my brush. I'm just going to, fair bit. <laughs> I'm just going to go back and grab a little bit of this lighter colour. Just come back over it and I'll, I'll play around with that a bit more. Wipe it again, but wipe it lots. Come back over with no medium and I can just sort of play around with that. Okay, 
Excellent. All right, so now I'm going to change to the smaller brush, which is quite tiny, which is a size four. Um, uh, do I or don't I at this point? I'm saying that, but I'm like, we've still got a fair big area here. So let, let's, I'll go back on my word there. We're going to keep going with these areas. So what we want to do now, so you know, it looks a bit of a you know, mishmash at the moment, but it won't uh, for long. So what we're going to do now is going to add, uh, I'm going to grab some more turquoise. All right. And some of the green. And, of, and, and some white as well. So we're sort of lightening, um, lightening, lightening those colors. Making it a little bit more bluey green. I don't know if you can hear the traffic in the background. I live near a busy road. Um, but there's birds too. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, in actually live in a beautiful place in the Dandenong Ranges in Melbourne. Um, I love where I live. All right, so you'll be able to see now that that's a lot lighter and a bit more bluey, bluier color. All right, so we're wanting to really make sure that it's different to those other other areas that we've been painting, um, and you can see that that is a bit different on the on there. So let's just pop those colors in. All right, now you know when you want to get a nice straight line, you want to come in from the right angle. Um, so you don't want to try and paint this this line here from this angle because you can accidentally, like I did before, <laughs> go over into the background. You want to come this way, so you're not going to accidentally um, paint over that background. All right, cool. So just, well, we're going to do the blending in a minute. We just want to get the color on first. So you might find that this sort of thing's happening. See how that sort of Oh no, where's all the paint? Basically, you've just got to go back and get more paint, but you need a little bit more medium. But be careful that you are not only just using colored medium, that you actually do have some paint on your brush. All right, so we're going to color the whole rest of this with this particular color. So it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to make it quite a bit lighter so you can actually see um, it a bit better on the, the video. All right, so we're going to just get all the rest of it painted up. Now, I really do hope that, you know, those of you that are looking at this now and going, hoping to do it later, that you actually do have a go um, and keep going. Because, look, if I left this like this at the moment, it looks pretty daggy right now. Of course, it's not looking great. But golly gosh, you wait till tomorrow, it's going to look amazing with all that beautiful, those water drops um with the highlights on them mm, tasty tasty all right so i've roughly done that one in so now i'm going to fill in the other areas that's actually fairly oh, no that's okay we'll put that there all good all right really just roughing it in at the moment roughing 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 just want to get those colors in it is important to get this line fairly good, so make sure you've got a reasonable amount of medium when you're sort of coming in around that. You might want to use a smaller brush uh, to do that. All right, I'm running out of paint. This is what can happen. See how I'm sort of not able to get as much paint on at the moment. So I'm going to mix up a little bit more. So we had our green, which we've run out of. A bit more of that. A bit more green, turquoise, a lot of turquoise, and a lot of white. I think I've added too much green. No, all good. And a bit of medium. To get it nice and flowy. Excellent. All right, let's go in again. That's better. A bit more quantity of paint makes a big difference. Okay, so I'm just going to move my um, canvas around. This can really help you when you're working is to actually get it in a, a, the angle where you're naturally 
move your hand. Now, if you're left-handed, you'll want to sort of do this on a different angle, of course. Um, all right, so I'll come in and get some more. Go around this edge. See how nice and smooth you can get it when you get the right, get some quantity of paint and some medium. Be really conscious that you're not actually just running out of paint and you're just adding medium to to make it work because that can be a bit of a trick a bit of a, a trap trick track trick trip track <laughs> all right that's pretty rough roughed it in um i think the light's shining on that so i might actually put, I'll put that pencil under there you might be able to see it a bit better <clears throat> that's what the eraser is here for <laughs> this is our lifesaver all right I'll put that on an angle and you might be able to see it a bit better Mm, needs to be more of an angle. That's anyway. All right. So what we can do now is um, wipe our brush. All right. Wipey, wipey, wipey. So it's got. So we try and get as much as we can off that. Um, three or four or five or six um, wipies. So now we want to sort of blend the colours together so that both of these, the darks and the lights, are actually still a little bit wet. So you can sort of blend them all together so those edges are not so definite oh I missed that edge there I need to come in and do that all right how are you feeling at this point um you know if you're doing this later you can write your comment down in the comments or email me um just go how are you going how are you, are you going like I can't do this or I can do this or um I'm here to tell you you can and you will and you'll uh, it'll look amazing it really will all right I think I've, I've done that edge now Excellent. All right, so we've made a good start there. Now I'm going to wipe my brush again. It's really hard to see the colors on here as good as I'd like uh, you to see. Um, I'm just going to see if I can adjust, just two seconds, if I can adjust to the. Uh, not going to work for me just at the moment we'll have a look at it a bit more tomorrow um, cool so uh, what I want to do now is actually add a bit more um, of the dark areas and I'm going to go for a smaller brush so this is the size 4 I'll grab some black um, yes all right so a little bit of black and a little bit of the green so I'm looking at all the different, the darker areas on here and I'm going to come back in and just play around with them a little bit more on top of what we've done. All right. So putting that in there. A little bit of black, a bit of green. I'm going to grab a bit of turquoise as well. Now down this edge here is really quite dark. So some turquoise and some black. All down this edge here and a bit of medium all right we want that it's really dark it's actually almost fully black down through there you need really do need this smaller brush for all of this so a bit darker in here a little bit darker over here and I haven't done this little spot here because this is quite dark in here, this little bit here. You definitely need this small brush for this area. If you're finding it too hard to use this one, the size 4, you can go to your little round, really tiny brushes if you want to in this spot. Quite dark in there. All right, and I'm just going to keep coming over. So, ooh, that's very dark. Um, so, you know, as you can see, what I'm doing as I'm going, I'm like, okay, um, I'm not just getting it right first time. This is sort of, this is the whole thing with all this. You know, you can, you, what we do is we build. We build on top and we go, okay, I need to make that a bit darker now. So I'm going to go in and make it darker. Or I want to change that color now. Um, you know, this is... This is the way it works. So you just keep coming back in over and looking at where, where are the darker spots in this as I'm working. 
so um, and you know looking at the colors and going am I happy with that color I'm not sure I am happy with that color so I'm going to change it so with oils you can just keep going you can keep playing and playing and playing and it's so good all right so this brush is a lot of fun very much so all right so what we've done here is blending you know a whole heap of different colors together so now what we want to do is um, blend this line. So we're going to wipe our brush again. We do a lot of wiping. So we've got our size four. And then we're just going to go along this edge and just sort of blur it. You see how we're doing that blur? Get that nice sort of blur happening there. You want to make sure that this shadow is quite dark because it looks really cool. There we go. So we make that look looks really cool. So now that we've sort of done, you know, the darks and lights areas, now we're going to bring in more lights. So my brush is pretty much clean, so I'm not really going to need to wipe that. So I'm going back in and, and finding on I'll just look at my canvas and go, oh, there's a bit of a light area. It's got a bit of turquoise, a bit of green, a bit of white, but quite light. So you can see there's some highlights in here now. So I'm going to bring this in. Again, we're just going to put the color on first, and then we're going to blend. So we'll put, put all the, the spots where we can see the highlights so there's a bit there there's a lot bit up here so you can see we've done we've done the darks first then the um, sorry we've done yeah we did the darks first and then we've sort of done the middle range color and now we're doing the highlights just putting that color on there and there's a really nice little spot here as well don't be afraid to do the contrast go really dark where it's really dark go really light where it's really light all right and there's a little bit more light over here a little bit here, a little bit here. Um, that's probably all the spots. In fact, this up here is quite light, so I'm going to go really light over here and really get a little bit more white on my brush. There we go. All right, looks a bit like it's got chicken pox right now. <laughs> but wiping our brush, and this is the fun part, is blending the edges. Oh, I love this so much. Blendy, blendy. So this is where I shouldn't throw that paper towel away. This is where we need to... Actually, I'm going to get another piece. That one's getting a bit wild. Um, this is where we need to keep wiping our brush because we don't want... Um, to destroy the, the dark areas as well. We don't want it to all end up being the same color. So just blending those edges there like that. Then wipe again. And then we're gonna go up here and blend these edges down. So you wanna use a dry, what I call a dry brush. And blend and, and wipe and blend and wipe. Okay. All right, and then down here, we'll blend that edge. Just you just want to keep wiping your brush in here. We're just going to blend that edge as well. Try not to go too much into the middle of that lovely color because it'll all end up the same otherwise. <clears throat> How are you going? I hope you're doing all right. Paint's going a bit streaky. It's probably too much medium. You're right. Um, or you might need to just get a bit more of your um, yeah, carry a bit more of your the quantity of paint. Um, so. Uh, and, and plus, if it is going streaky, sometimes if it's too much medium, what you can do is come in and tap this on top and just sort of get rid of a bit of that medium if it's just feeling really, really runny. Um, and just the great thing with oils is you can just come back over it. It's just fantastic like that. So you can just keep building on it. All right. Um, cool. So we've got our highlights. We've got them nicely blended. I hope you had fun with the blending or when you do it later, you have fun with the blending. You know, at this point, I'm always thinking, well, is that dark enough? Is that light enough? Um, I'm going to look at, you know, some of these areas are a lot dark. I know on the video, on the screen here, it looks very dark to you, but to me, it's actually still quite, that's not dark enough. So I'm grabbing a little black on my brush and I'm actually coming into here and making this really dark it's really important to make it look really dark where it is really dark and the shadows around the water drops are just as important as the water drops so this is really important to get that really dark you see now you can even see how that's gone a bit darker even though it looks pretty dark anyway 
and then wipe my brush and then just sort of blend that edge out. Awesome. All right, where else is it really dark? I'm grabbing some black. So it's really dark around this. So I'm just using the end. Look, I probably should be using this um, one of these brushes to make it easier. So um, this is a round number one. Now I'm just grabbing some black with a bit of medium, a fair bit of medium when you're doing this, um, and just coming around that edge there. Just getting that really dark, really dark. And making sure that that's really smooth, that edge, because we want to make that water drop look really cool later on. All right, and then over here, it's really dark here. A bit more medium on your brush. And around this edge, just the outside edge. We're not painting the actual water drop. We're just doing a little bit there. And it's quite dark through here. And a little bit around here as well. We're going to do our stems in a minute and then we'll finish up. Um, and tomorrow we're going to be getting onto the water drops, the fun part. Well, you know, it's all fun, isn't it, really? All right. Uh, yeah. How are you finding it? You're like, um, you know, how's your shoulders going? Give them a little wriggle. Just go, oh, how am I feeling? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm good. All right. Um, just continuing to look at where all the darks are, making sure that I've got everything really dark where it's really dark. Now, I'm not real happy with my edges here. So um, before I just go on and do the stems, I'm just going to move this around. Um, get rid of that eraser. And make, make sure I've got a fair bit of medium. And not too much, but enough to sort of come in and just give that edge a real nice finish. We've got to make sure you've got the right colour though. Um, so you want to get that nice and smooth along there. Change your colour when it comes to a different colour. Just sort of come in and finish those edges off really nice. A fair bit of medium. You've got, you know, a lot of paint underneath, so it should work to be able to put a bit of medium on top there. All right. And then wipe your brush. Blend where you need to blend. Awesome. All right. And look, some of those other edges I'd be, you know, happy. I'd, I'd want to come in and do a bit more um, fixing up later on, probably, maybe tomorrow. All right. So let's do the stems so we can finish up um, by uh, 10 o'clock. I'm actually heading off to uh, my studio to teach at 10.30, so um, just a bit of fun. So the last colour we're going to use is, so I'm going to go back to my size 4, um, give it a good wipe. We've got our brown and our golden yellow. Um, I'm going to put that out here and a bit of white. Alright, so that's going to give you a base colour. So I need to mix a bit more up because I didn't mix enough. That's always the trick. Mixing enough paint. A fair bit of white. All right, there we go. All right, now we're going to come in with this brush. So this is the size four. Come down this edge, fair bit of medium. Be careful not to make your stem like really thick and you know, just sort of like go, whoopsie, I've gone really thick. If you're finding it's too hard to use this brush, you might want to come in and use um, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, just the size one might be easier. All right. Now it does change color a bit, but what I'm trying to do is just put the base color down first. So I'm just going along that edge there. I'm going to turn this around so I can actually get that edge better along this edge. A fair bit of medium here to be able to get that nice and smooth. Not so much that it goes streaky. Hey. Um, Kerry. <laughs> All right, great. Down in here. Excellent. Eh? Don't know if that's a word. Excellent. Eh? It's my word. No, I'm sure it's not. It's one of my words. All right, so we've got um, a base color happening there. So now we want to change it up a little bit. There's a bit more greeny color to that. So I'm going to grab a little bit of green. 
So I'll sort of change that color up and a little bit more. I'm actually going to grab some of the magenta. That's why that's sitting there. All right, so just a tiny bit of the magenta um, to that color as well. All right, and we'll just come in. Just need to darken a little bit more. All right, I'm going to grab some black as well, just to try and, is that the black? Yes, it is. <laughs> just sort of deepen that color a little bit more because it is quite dark, this, uh, this top section. So as you can see, I've just sort of put that base color on and then I'm coming over and just playing around with the colors a bit more. I feel like it needs to be even darker, so I'm going to go more brown, more black, a little bit more magenta. Just get that quite a bit darker in there. Now you can spend a bit more time and just sort of, um, you know, this left edge. Um, so I'll grab a little bit more black so we can see that. This left edge is a little bit darker. So you want to come in there and make that edge just a little bit darker. <clears throat> All right, so there's a little bit more greeny color to that as we come into the actual stem. So I'm going to grab some green and add it into here. And I'm going to grab some white as well because it's quite a little bit lighter, but we want that greeny sort of color. So I'm using what we had. Um, excellent. What's great with these brushes is if you wipe it one way like that and then tap it over the other way, it gives you a really thin line. And we're going to go down there. I'm looking at that and going, I think it needs to be a little bit lighter. So grab some more, a bit more, a tiny bit of yellow and a tiny bit of white. Always looking at the colours, looking at the tones and going, mm, am I happy with that? If you're not, just change it up. What's the medium I'm using? Yeah, so the medium I'm using um, is called uh, low toxic paint medium so it's it's an australian brand so i'm sorry if you're from a different country just someone was just asking sorry the rest of you um yeah it's it's got uh in the description below you'll see i think i've put the um, ingredients stand stand oil low toxic solvent linseed oil and cobalt dryer um, so it's quite a beautiful um, texture all right, thank you for the questions. Um, no worries. <laughs> uh, I don't know your real name, but I'm, I'm guessing addicted is not your name. Addicted to art. Ah, oh, I love the whole name, addicted to art. Yes, I'm addicted to art too. Good. So glad you're here. Um, that's your fun time. All right, so now you can see I'm just going to blend that up into this other brown. So... It might be nice to get a little bit more yellow into it um, from what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of yellow. Just come in and just, just golden that up a little bit. So I feel that's going to bring a bit of life to that bit. So as I was saying, I wanted to do this so that, you know, I haven't perfected it. I have, honestly haven't painted this picture very much. So it gives you an idea, you know, how much... Um, I think of it, you know, I just play as I work, um, often play as I work. All right, so this is, at this point, you know, I'm going to finish in a moment, you know, I'll be looking at, you know, things like, I can see I've left some white gaps around here, so I'm going to come back in and find some of those colours and try and just get rid of all those little spots that need touching up. Um, so I'll find the right colour, touch this area, I'll try and come back in close, really close to that stem. All right, excellent. So that's pretty much where we're going to stop today. Um, we can t we're going to touch up a little bit more of some of the things tomorrow. Once we we've done the water drops, we'll go back over and do a bit more of the detail. You know, there really is. Um, you know, if I grab some magenta and some brown, there really is a bit more of this sort of really dark, sort of um, 
have some black as well sort of you know spots on the stem and sort of you know the last video and the last um, workshop will be more about the detail um, you know so don't stress right now if you're doing this that oh it's not looking right yet no it's not because you've got these white dots in the middle of it it does look a little bit strange right now uh, and that's okay cool 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 well i hope you found that helpful oh liana Li liana is that how you say your name thank you liana addicted to art <laughs> nice to have you here um thank you thank you so much for coming everyone and i hope that you enjoyed that and those of you that are watching later on and watching the replay um you will notice down below this video there'll be um, more links to the other videos so this one is the second of the workshop probably above this and below this on the page uh, later on you will see um, on my website that is you'll see the other two uh, but the links will be below so you can um, find that now I was going to say how to wash your brushes I just saw a little note um, so obviously <laughs> I am in a studio not with water right here but I'll just show you here um, very quickly. Maybe I'll do it uh, with the other camera. Um, so basically what you're going to do, just imagine water is, is you've got the tap running and the water's going onto this. So basically what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to put it in the medium and wipe it on the paper towel. So let's just do that so you can see. So we're going to put it in the medium and wipe it on the paper towel. Just get a bit of medium on. Get as much of that off as you can. Grab this, go out, go to the sink, um, and get the water running. Just just a dripple, a dripple. <laughs> That's a good word um, of water. Uh, and then dripple. Uh, uh, I can't think of the word. A line. Um, a, a dribble. Dribble. Okay, a bit more than a dribble. Um, but then you just got to lather and lather and lather that up. And then you use your fingers under the water and just sort of wipe it out. And then lather it again. Lather, lather, and wipe it out. Keep going till the water comes clean. Um, and then when what you want to do is make sure that you sort of push the all of the, um, the gosh, I'm doing well today, trying, not thinking of the right things. What are hairs? That'll do. Hairs into the right way. So with the with the field bits, you want to be able to, you know, push them nice and flat like that so that they actually stored well. Um, and you know they say to store them when you're where they're drying flat mostly look I often will just have them in a jar like this um, because they say not a great idea to do it like this because the water can go through and rot uh, rot the wood but I don't uh, my brushes don't last that long so <laughs> um, you know wear them down before then so it's not really an issue for me uh, but you you know can look up your own ideas about how to dry brushes but that's sort of what I would suggest awesome well i uh, hope you have enjoyed today please write comments um, about what you've enjoyed what you found helpful any questions that you have please email me my email is hb at heatherbradbury.com you can email me any questions you have i'm here to help uh, during this workshop and tomorrow i'm going to be talking to you more about uh, restore your creative soul uh, course and program that I run that goes for six months and you get to do um, 24 of uh, mini versions of my paintings and they all have a story that goes with them so it's not just about the painting it's about the story behind this this one's called uh, flying <laughs> um, and it was all about me um, going to new places and realizing that I can fly and that I have there's more to me so we talk we do some beautiful discussions but anyway more about that tomorrow I'm not going to um, keep chatting about that now but please um, if you have any questions don't hesitate to uh, message me and I hope you've enjoyed today and we are looking forward to tomorrow finishing the water drops on this as you can see there the colors there are quite a lot different to what was on my webcam um, but yeah, we're going to have some fun with that tomorrow. Please uh, also, if you uh, have an Instagram account or even if you don't, um, send me some photos of where you're up to or wait till you've finished it and email them to me. I would love to see what you've done. Um, yeah, looking forward to your outcomes. And uh, just remember that as you're painting this, that it's been a moment where you actually haven't been thinking about much else but just what you're doing. 
And that's what I love about this whole process is that it takes you to a slower place, a calmer place. Um, so until tomorrow, until the next video, uh, have a great day and keep creating. <laughs>